Hi everybody, uh, welcome. Uh, I'm James Yotis. I'm the preps editor here at the Journal. Uh, joined again by Ken Sickinger, former prep editor here, longtime staffer. We're going to talk about some prep football picks this week. Um, last week, uh, Ken basically mercy ruled me. Uh, he went 15-1 last week. I went 11 and five. So uh, he just he really just uh, dominated me last week. So I got some catching up to do this week. So we'll see how it pans out. We're going to discuss a few. Uh, the key games this week, there are a lot of really good games on tap this week. Um, this is by far the best week of games that we've had so far this year. Uh, I think you'd agree by far. Um, the first game we're going to start with is really one of the big games of the year. Uh, Las Cruces is coming back up here this week to play Rio Rancho, to play the Rams on Friday night at 7 o'clock. Uh, this is a rematch of a playoff game last year that Rio Rancho won in double overtime down at the Field of Dreams, a game that Las Cruces led. A good chunk of the way, Rio Rancho came back, to their credit, biggest win in the program's history. Uh, now Cruces is back up here uh, on Friday night. Should be a fantastic game. These are two teams that could easily meet in the state finals. Um, Cruces has got a new quarterback in Jonathan Joy, uh, who's performed very well. He killed it in a scrimmage against Clovis. He's been really solid the first three weeks, and he's got to take on a Ram defense uh, you know, that's been pretty solid so far. How, how do you see the game coming out? You know, I have to go with Cruces, although I do think Rio Rancho is capable of winning this game. And I, the fact that they lost last week to Goddard makes it even more so. I think they'll be a little bit more motivated, maybe a little bit more steady. But Los Cruces right now looks like the team to beat in the state. Yeah, I agree. I, I, Cruces is my pick in this game as well. Although one interesting thing to me is Goddard last week defended the pass really well, I thought, against Rio Rancho, which likes to throw it. Las Cruces is much bigger up front. Remember, they're very big along the offensive lines and defensive lines. It'd be interesting to see if they get pressure on Rio Rancho's sophomore quarterback, Easton Brewer, uh, and try and get Rio Rancho a little bit out of sorts. I don't know if Las Cruces defends the pass as well. That's one issue for me, but I like Cruces in this game too. They've got Cameron Dixon, uh, one of the best players in the state. He's worth going out to see if you get a chance to go watch him this week, and he plays tight end and defensive end. Great talent, a Division I talent. So uh, it should be a, a lot of fun this week. I'm looking forward to this one. Um, so we're both in agreement we're going to take Las Cruces in this game. Uh, we've got some other Metro teams that are playing uh, some, some out-of-town teams this week, uh, starting with uh, Clovis is up here against Cleveland on Friday. Clovis had a close loss to Manzano last week. Uh, Manzano's, uh, you know, is 3-0 now. Cleveland just got its first win last week against Oñate, 1918, which gives me a total red flag, but I still picked the Storm in this game. I went the other way. I went with Clovis. I thought, you know, there was... As you saw, there was basically one turnover that probably kept close from having a shot to win last week. I think they can win this week. Yeah, and they, they killed Manzano on special teams last week. They had a kickoff return for a score, a punt return for a score. Kamal Cass is a fantastic player, uh, really is a game breaker from anywhere on the field. That's a guy Cleveland's going to have to deal with. Um, I'm interested to see how Cleveland rebounds. They played La Cueva pretty strong in the first game. They had just a lot of uh, physical mistakes, not mental errors. Um, if Cleveland wants to get its season right, I think they've got to win this game. Uh, so Cleveland's my pick. I'm, I'm hesitant right now. I don't have my very much confidence right now, but I'm taking <laughs> Cleveland. Uh, Sandia, uh, this is a great game on Friday night. Sandia's going down to play Las Lunas. Uh, two teams that are undefeated, both 3-0. Uh, 518 playing a 418. Great matchup here. Las Lunas is probably the third best team in 4A after Goddard and Artesia right now, maybe even the second best team. Uh, this is a great matchup. I've got Las Lunas in this game. Uh, they've got a great quarterback in Chris Wisniewski. Very well-rounded team, very well-coached. I'm going to stick with you on that one. I like Las Lunas particularly because it's at home, but this one gives me great pause. I wouldn't be at all surprised if Sandia makes something, makes us both wrong. Yeah, the Matadors have a pretty solid defense. They might be able to do something with Sandia's quarterback, and, and then Las Lunas also has some good running backs. Uh, this should be a really good matchup. Sandia's offense, I'm not, I'm not sure about. We'll have to see how that works out. Uh, real quick, we're going to get to Manzano at Mayfield. Manzano's going down to the Field of Dreams on Friday night, a place where they've had just terrible, terrible memories over the last three or four years. Uh, Manzano's 3-0. Mayfield just got its first win last week against Carlsbad, but Carlsbad was missing its quarterback, Rodney Holcomb. I'm still taking Mayfield in this game, even though Manzano's 3-0. I'm with you, and I think it's more of a luck factor than anything, and Manzano's has been terrible at the Field of Dreams, so until they can break that, I think it's a, it's going to be a big part of it. And, you know, now that we're into week four, too, I mean, you got to think Mayfield's going to start hitting their stride a little bit. They played a couple of good El Paso teams to start out the season, so you got to think Mayfield, with their tradition, they're going to start playing a little better. This is Manzano's first real major test with the new quarterback, Angel Gonzalez, and this running back, Corey Morrow. Uh, we'll have to see. I think they'll score some points in this game. I think it'll be a shootout, but I'm taking Mayfield. We'll have to see how that one turns out. Uh, Thursday night, Valley against El Dorado at Wilson Stadium. Great matchup. Uh, Valley is almost 3-0. Uh, they have a one-point loss to La Cueva. 
Uh, I'm taking El Dorado in a slight upset in this game. Actually, I think it is an upset in this game. I think Valley's the favorite. El Dorado has not shown a lot yet this year. What's your thoughts? I like Valley and I like their offense, so I think they're going to find a way to score just enough in this one. Yeah, I think if Valley wins this game, I think it will be a huge signal to everyone else how legit they really are. Uh, a couple other quick games that we picked. Um, Moriarty Volcano Vista on Saturday. I'm taking Moriarty. Volcano Vista's burned me a couple of times. I'm taking Moriarty, even though Moriarty blew a 27 point lead last week. You like Volcano. I'm going to go with Volcano. Yeah. Uh, Saturday, another good game on Saturday. Santa Rosa, the 2A state champion from last year against Hope Christian. We're both taking Santa Rosa. But that's actually a pretty good matchup on a small school level. We like that. We both like St. Pius against Bernalillo on Friday night. We both like Siebel to beat Highland on Friday night. Uh, if you want to see our full list of picks, see the journal on Thursday morning. Uh, and we'll be back next week to talk about next week's games. Hopefully I can be a little bit more competitive with Ken this week. Uh, take care. We'll see you later.